Hello, welcome to Scratch Daily Printing. In this video, we're going to take a look at the AD5X. It has a new update. Let's scratch to this topic. Recently, the AD5X has some new updates for the 3D printer, so it has been printing a little bit better. But I do have some issue with the 3D printer. One of the issues is that sometimes if you skip auto leveling, the nozzle uses like its previous Z offset for the bed, which sometimes can differ depending on how your room is. Feeling like I think I'm not quite sure about all that science, but sometimes the nozzle is way too close to the bed and it prints the material. It's like really sticking onto the bed, so you can't really take it off. Another problem that I have with the AD5 is that sometimes if the filament runs out and you put a new filament in, it just keeps having this error saying that there's no filament in there and you cannot resume printing, which is a huge problem for me because if you have a small amount of filament left and you want to print that and then use another filament to print the rest of the 3D print part, you can't because it just keeps jamming or just have this error. But hopefully today's update will fix that problem. Let's go to the 3D printer and take a look what they have added. Okay, the AD5X here has a new update here. I'm gonna read all of them to you. Number one, adjusted the flow for filament loading and unloading on the AD5X. That's great. Add an extruder probably at the best center to compensate for Z axis deviationing for printing when leveling before printing disable. For me, I feel like that's a good feature because if you disable leveling, then it's not gonna do any bad leveling but it's still gonna do the probing in the middle for the Z axis because sometimes when I print with my AD5 vector, the nozzle is way too close to the bed and as you can see here, I cannot get it off. It sticks too well to the bed, so for this, it's actually good. Number three, add a Chinese wiki, redirect with scanning error, QR code in a Chinese language environment. Okay, that's good, but not for us. Number four, printer error code are now reported to FlashMaker. Okay, so if you have an error here, you can just scan it and it's gonna take you to FlashMaker so that you can solve the problem. Number five, improve Wi-Fi reconnection. Previous connected network no longer require re enter the password. That's good because sometimes, you know, if you factory reset your 3D printer here, um, sometimes the 3D printer just reset your Wi-Fi connection and you have to retap the in all the time. So this is good that it's making it a little bit more faster, convenient. Change filament retraction distance after auto loading from 90 to 100 millimeter. Okay, so I guess when it retracts back here, it's gonna retract 100 instead of 90. I'm not quite sure what that's gonna change, but hey, there it is. Number seven, changing the first stage filament retraction distance on the material station page from 100 to 130. Okay, I'm actually not quite sure what that is. Uh, if anybody knows, please let me know in the comments down below what that is. Maybe when it's done doing its retraction, it's gonna, you know, retract another 130 millimeter or something. I don't know. Number eight, fixed an occasional issue with printing pause after filament run out and resuming with the filament loading results in a filling timeout error reported preventing print recovery. I do have a couple of problems with that and now it's good that they fixed that hopefully because sometimes when I print and my filament over here runs out, I try to change the filament and put a new filament in and it does, just doesn't work. It keeps resulting in this error and it keeps timing out and I cannot resume my printing. So. It's good that they address that now and hopefully it's fixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and update this. Let's go. As you saw there, they have addressed some issue that we have. If you don't want your 3D printer to keep doing bed loving every single time it prints, it's sufficient now because if you skip that, it's gonna do one probe in the middle of the bed just to get the Z offset so that it's not gonna be printing way too close to the bed, almost scraping the bed and putting material so close to the bed that it kind of infused inside of the bed and you can't really take it off from the bed unless you print on top of it. And maybe you can try taking it off with another print on top, which is like a hassle. And they also address the issue where if you run out of filament, you add a new filament. This time it will put in the filament and will continue printing. Hopefully this update will fix all those problems and many more problems with the AD5X. I have seen so many weird problems on Reddit and stuff like that, but hey, hopefully they keep the updates coming and hopefully this 3D printer is gonna be so much better than what it is today. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming. And if you haven't yet, become a member of my YouTube channel. It helps me tremendously. And if you need some battery pack, check out my store in the description down below. And as always, keep on 3D printing.